That's dogging the boys in the UK. And the weird thing is, it's actually the exact opposite of dogging the boys in Australia. <laughs> Yeah, so as I said, I've been here almost two years, right? Um, one of the things between Australia and the UK is like the little differences, right? Like, there's a thing in Australia called dog and the boys, right? <laughs> Look at the Australian people being like, yeah, mate, we fucking know. And the UK people being like, mate, what do we know? But no, like, it, that's the thing. I came over here, dog and the boys, common phrase in Australia. Basically, it means going home early or like hanging out with your girlfriend instead of your mates, right? And I have found out in almost two years, in the UK it means something substantially different. <laughs> like, do you know what it means over here? No. Mate, it means having anonymous sex with someone in a car park or park. <laughs> That's dogging the boys in the UK. And the weird thing is, it's actually the exact opposite of dogging the boys in Australia. <laughs> Because you're having sex, but your mates are there. Uh, they're involved. <laughs> they're involved in the process, right? And it's funny, because like, in Australia, it's like, that's like a serious thing. You know what I mean? Like, a guy gets a girlfriend, he starts seeing his friends less. People are like, man, you fucking dog the boys, mate. Dan, you dog the boys. Because that's the thing. Like, if you don't know, like, dudes, we just have a little group, and you get together, and you go down the pub, and you're not there for the first time. And all your mates do is just talk about it. Being like, yeah, man. Dan would love to be here with the boys, man. Dan loves the boys. <laughs> Fucking loves the boys, mate. But his girlfriend's used that pussy magic and made him disappear. <laughs> we might never see Dan again. He's probably doing relationship shit like buying lamps, right? <laughs> he loves the boys, man. He'd never dog the boys. Not realising that every guy has just been waiting to dog the boys his entire fucking life. Right? That's been the whole thing. Because hanging out with the boys is brutal, right? Everyone knows this. The boys, they're the same friends you've had since you were 13. They just say the same three stories over and over and over. And you try and drink enough to forget how the story ends. But you can't because you were fucking there when it happened, right? It's actually a story you told him five years ago. <laughs> That's why we watch sports, so something surprising might happen, right? <laughs> but the boys get together like, nah, man, she fucking tricked him, bro. It's like, girls, they got this thing, right? They got like, you know, if a girl has sex with a guy, he just has to do whatever she says. It's like a superpower. It's like vagina voodoo, man. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, yeah? If that's the case, wouldn't have women been able to vote sooner? <laughs> Wouldn't they get paid the same? Or more? <laughs> At this point, right? There's more women in the world than men. Just fuck everybody, get your list of demands met, and then rule the world. <laughs> Except for gay dudes, obviously, because they're unstoppable. <laughs> I mean, how else can they afford to buy art? That shit's crazy, right? <laughs> That's the power of two male incomes right there. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds of laughter and not a single clap you fucking cowards <laughs> you cowards